Moin Moin und herzlich willkommen zurück hier bei den Chilling Gamern. Ich bin der Chris Pro und spiele heute wieder mit euch Harold Hellibert. Ja, letztes Mal waren wir hier stehen geblieben und hatten Slippy geholfen. Und haben jetzt einige Wege, die wir noch gehen können und müssen. Ähm ja, ist jetzt die Frage, was wir zuerst machen. Ich glaube, ich möchte erst einmal in die Hauptstation. Und dann würde ich einmal hier in den All-Water-Sektor gucken, ob da der Hauptmann ist. Ja, los geht's, Harold. Äh, hier ist der... Ne, da hinten war der aber nicht, oder? Da ist nur der eine Sekretärentyp. Ja, können wir mit ihm noch mal reden. Mr. 24, wie geht's dir? Oha. Uh, wo ist mein Handsanitizer? Oh, are you getting a cold? It's the allergies. Who wouldn't sneeze with all the microscopic pollutants floating around? And with everyone sneezing, you can't be too careful with the surfaces you touch. Not sure I've seen anyone else sneeze recently, though. Yes, well, if you do see them, watch out. Hmm, maybe I can suggest to all water R&D that they work on some better air filters. Nie verkehrt. Okay. Ja gut, aber dann äh, scheint er hier nicht zu sein. Na gut, dann gehen wir erstmal und gehen jetzt nochmal in, in dieses andere Abteil hier und zwar in den Versorgungssektor. Denn ich hoffe ja, dass da diese Tür ist, für das wir jetzt das Pass für die wir jetzt das Passwort haben. Oh, wer bist du denn auf einmal? Ach ja, stimmt, sie ist ja jetzt am Verkaufen da Welcome. oben. Oh, hi. Gunther, right? Sunny is it in today? Nope. She doesn't work here anymore. I think she said something about starting her own business. Can I help? Uh, sure. But aren't you a bit young to start work? Well, school is closed. They said everyone has to help out. And so I volunteered to work here. Did any of your classmates volunteer to work too? Hmm. Now that you mention it, I'm not sure. Well, have fun. So, I can't help you? No, no. Danke. Oh, und hier ist es traurig. We are hiring. Oh. Hey, folks. Regret to say I won't be able to make the rounds at the moment. Sorry. And thank you for your continued trust in the Popo Postal Service. Buddy. Oh, Alter, hier stapelt sich alles. Können wir hier noch durch? Nee. Na, aber gut, dann können wir jetzt endlich mal gucken, ob wir hier jetzt mit unserem Passwort reinkommen. Plattfisch war es, oder? What's the password? Um, ah. Plattfisch? Bad luck, no dice. Wait, what? But Felix told me... What? I'm the password setter for today. I made it Flatfish just this morning. Well, you didn't tell me. Just let him in. It's Harold. I can't do that. It's protocol. Okay, well, as this week's password setter, I'm telling you, it's Flatfish. Okay, password updated. <sighs> so what's the password? Flatfish. Nope. What? But... Ah, oh, just messing with you. <laughs> Come on in. Ooh. Welcome to the Lightkeeper's official headquarters. Huh. What? You're not the light keepers. We are. That's us. Pretty cool, huh? All the graffiti? The stuff with the rock? That was all you kids? Hey, we're not kids. We might not be quite as old or as tall as you, but we know what we're doing. Wow. Is this all of you? Pretty much. You're the first older member we've invited. Well then, thanks for inviting me to the club. Wir fühlen uns geehrt. 
We're an anarcho syndicalist collectivism collective. Oh, okay. Of course. Anyway, how can I help? Well, whatever you do, just bear in mind it'll probably go unnoticed. Yava, what are you saying? That's no way to motivate the new blood. I'm just saying, that time in the toilet cubicle, I was there for hours and no one ever... Wait, that was you? Hey, 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 everyone, can we get back on track, please? Sure. I'll just suffer in silence as always. <gasps> yes, we've uncovered some pretty crazy facts recently. Normally, we'd handle it ourselves. But unfortunately, this time we require the help of an adult. One we can trust, not one of them. That's you, Harold. Me? Yes, you. Uh... Our time has come. Too long have we been overlooked by the older yet no wiser of the Fedora. Yeah. So let's watch back the footage Harold helped us record. Everyone, shush. Look, this is the important part, Harold. Freeze it there, Felix. Now, enhance. Uh, what? And begin the image. Zoom in. Uh, okay. Is that? Precisely. Well, it's not very precise, is it? Well, what's important is that we believe the time on the watch to reveal the true time. That is to say, all water time, as shown in the video, and true time do not agree. Okay. Hang on a sec. How do you know the watch on the shelf isn't just broken or something? Ha! Huh, we thought of that at first. But look at this. See? This one also shows a different time. It must be this watch she's looking for. Why do you even have that? My grandfather gave it to me. He hung on to it during the big watch exchange. He used to say, what's mine is mine. Ain't no corporation gonna take it away from me, whether they all part or no water. And here we have... Yeah, we really don't know what this bit means. But surely it has something to do with the whole conspiracy. We've been had. They've been pulling the wool over everyone's eyes this whole time. Well, now, let's not... What other conclusion is there, Harold? Come on! We thought you were cool! Don't side with the man! We need to reveal this betrayal for the greater good of the station. If we can uncover their motives too, even better. I reckon they're doing it for control. First they'll steal time, and then they'll steal... And then... Well, I think they're planning something at night. And they need more secret time to finish their dastardly plan. Or maybe they're just... Enough theories! Look, here's the plan. We'll split up into three groups. Due to our long-term relationship with Captain Zoya, it shouldn't be an issue to get him involved. Corey and Eve, you'll go after the Captain's cockpit and take care of getting him on side. Roger! Roger! Your mission is to convince him to put out a diversionary message over the PA. We should get him to say that there's a giant meteoroid heading our way! What? An underwater one? Uh, <laughs> yeah! I'll leave the detail to you two. The key is to get Miss CEO Busy Chops out of her office. Felix, you'll dash in, grab the package, slip past the... Felix? No, you'll be holding the secretary's door with Harold to stop him from getting involved. Me? I don't know if I should get involved. You're the only grown-up. You're stronger than us. It's a key part of the plan. Don't betray us now, Harold. Uh... Lise, you wait in front of the door to Castle Chop's office. When she steps out, do your where are my parents routine. I'll hide behind the plant by the door and slide through like a cool gust of wind while she's distracted by your cute misery. Yay! I haven't had a good tantrum in ages! <gasps> Everyone clear? Roger. 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 Roger? But will this really work? You got any better ideas? I... Uh, I'd probably better not have. Then it's decided. Operation Trident of Truth is go. Alles klar. Bella Ciao. 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 Das ist eine sehr wichtige Mission. Okay, tube time. Is everyone ready? There's been a hitch. Yeah, Yava's ticket doesn't work. It 
They must have changed the system again. It, it was fine just the other day. Well, look, there's no point in standing around blaming people. Wait, who's blaming me? It's not my fault. As I was saying, let's focus on solution. Felix? Well, we could, uh, go through the fence? Ugh, that's your answer to everything. What if we steal one from a passing adult? I hope you're not expecting me to help with that. Oh no, here comes Gunter. Gunter? Hi everyone, what are you all doing here? Oh, just, we're all going home. A long day of joint studying. Studying for what? Okay, look Gunter, we weren't studying. And we need your help. Oh, trickery. Plans afoot. Damn it, Gunter, are you gonna help us or not? Well, what is it that you need? Well, we factored you into our grand plan, which we'll reveal to you shortly, but time is of the essence. We need you to secure the tube station and find a working ticket that we can use. Of course. Here you are. Thanks, Gunter. So, where are we going? Not we. I mean, we, not you. Oh, my Gunter. The plan, remember? Oh, yes. And when was this nefarious ruse concocted? Um, um, it all started a few weeks ago, uh, in class. What's up? Detention. Yeah, we, we had detention. What did you get detention for? Gunter, is it? Where do I know you from? You came to the pharmacy, remember? Ah, that's right. How's it all going? Very good. I'm developing quite the taste for public-facing dispensary work. Thanks, Gunter. And remember, secure. Plan. Keep up the good work, Gunter. Secure from what? When are you coming back to tell me about the plan? <laughs> and my ticket? Oh. Back to work, then. Thank you for traveling with all water. Okay. Okay, the light keepers are assembled. Let's go. You're with me, Harold. Come on. Okay, Corey. You remember the plan, right? Of course I dig it. Okay. I'm going to be the one who's going Are you having doubts? Come and help me with the door! Mr. Captain at large? Oh, hi kids. I didn't see you come in. Listen, punk, we need you to make an announcement. Uh, 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 sorry about my rude friend here. What she's trying to say is that if you help us, well, we'll make it worth your while. I have no idea what you're insinuating, offering and or threatening, but I'm kind of busy right now, so if you could just- There's no time! It's true. This is a matter of urgency. We've been sent by Moreau to inform you that the radio boy has picked up signals of a meteoroid heading straight for us. A meteoroid? Underwater? We're all gonna die! <laughs> I mean, it doesn't sound likely. Why would she send you two? Simply put, we can move fast and without alerting and panicking people. Why are they taking so long? Well, what are you waiting for? Okay, I'm just... I've got to be mentally prepared. Yeah. You know, if we don't want to raise suspicion... Hang on a second. If we didn't want to panic people, what am I making an announcement about exactly? Um, just tell everyone that there might be big turbulence soon. Nothing to be alarmed about, but to stay inside until further notice. Okay, it's Zoya time. Gosh, how frightening. Just gotta stay calm. Okay. Okay, I I I'll start the tunneling system right in the... Oh. What's wrong? Um, I think I just activated the ship's flight controls. Um, um, what is going on here? Okay, get to the CEO's office and I'll hold him here. Go! Das läuft ja alles super. Da drüben brennt's übrigens. They do all 
will show the same time. CEO Hasselchop, we hereby present our findings and let your conscience be the judge of their veracity. What? I know I promised to keep an open door policy, but I hardly think it extends to rambunctious children. We're not kids! Well, you're certainly not all water employees. Unless you'd like to be. No! We're here to say we know your plans. Here is our theory. Deny it if you can. Well, hurry up and get it over with then. I've got work to do. We know we were onto something when we noticed Yava's watch wasn't slowing down, but didn't match up with the official time. So we made a secret recording of you in your office and realized how badly you wanted that watch back because you were trying to recover the last piece of evidence that all water is trying to steal time. Yeah. <laughs> how fanciful. But I'm afraid, totally erroneous. I will, however, concede that you fabricated an entertaining story and you deliver it with admirable panache. Just what do you suppose I'm doing with the stolen time? Maybe taking the time for yourself? Uh, Felix? I mean, how would that work? Don't defend her, Harold. Maybe <sighs> all you adults are in on it. Try to regain your youth. I didn't know I'd lost it. What? How old are you anyway? I'm in my 20s. Wow, I'd never dig that. Come on, how old are you, really? But you're so grown up -y. Hey, grown -up -y. I'm not. I would have thought you were more my age. Uh, can we not focus on my age, please? Yes! Miss Castle Chop, stop trying to deflect our attention. Oh. You see right through me. Okay. You want to know how it really is. You children have totally misunderstood a fundamental principle. That is, that the Fedora is undergoing a ship-wide energy crisis. If you'd have stopped for a minute to consider that, you may have reasoned the following. The all-water tube system benefits the public. Everyone loves their individualized mobility and would never submit to having those liberties curtailed. So we can't balance the energy budget there. Shortening daylight hours was the next option. But even if people would theoretically agree to that, they'd keep the same routines and use even more energy by keeping their own lights on. So we had to shorten their routines. A few seconds. Just a few minutes every few years, you understand? But it adds up. And we had to keep uh -huh. it secret because it sounds like another curtailing of freedoms. Now we're slowly balancing the energy. People have a better work-life balance. And are getting more sleep, thus being happier and healthier too. It's one in the name of making the ship and its citizens happier and ensuring maximum freedom of choice at all times. Oh, I see. But what about... I mean... When you put it like that. So now you know the importance of being grown up. I'll be taking this, and you'll all be leaving. But no, we know the truth. It will all come out. <laughs> Just try it. See what the grown ups think of your absurd theories. But why don't you. Out now! Does this have for the Whatever are you doing? Oh, nothing for you to worry about, Madam CEO. We had a small incident. It's all taken care of. <sighs> we need to go back to the hideout, regroup, and figure out our next course of action. Yeah, and get some snacks. And maybe a nap. But time is of the essence. There's nothing we can do right now. And we can't all be seen together. Does this mean me, too? Sure. You're one of us now. But... I do have other things to do. Yeah, let's split up for now. See you all back there. Godspeed, Light Keepers. <sighs> okay, krasse uh, Mission. Order, order! Now that we're all here, we need to decide on our next course of action. We've got to expose them. Whatever Castle Chop's explanation, people need to know. Yeah, man. Let the people make their own minds up. Information wants to be free, you dig? But. What can we do? I'm not sure. It's not like people listen to me. We gotta go big. Bigger than ever before. No. From what I've read about such matters, a small, well-placed anonymous suggestion is more powerful. We need legitimacy. What if we mount another secret mission? Yeah, because our last one went so well. What about pamphlets? How we could tell the truth through catchy bee poetry. Na 
mal gucken, was da jetzt angekündigt wird. Hello, Fedorans. Tonight we bring you an unscheduled but nonetheless timely announcement. Before I hand over to our all water press secretary for the full details, I'd like to assure you that I very much feel, agree and or condone what is about to tell you all. And I regret that it came to this. This the following, which he'll follow up with now. Thank you, Madam CEO. It's my duty to announce that the All Water Corporation owes you all an apology. Oha. Certain details of the past watch and clock replacement scheme have since been discovered to have not met with our rigorous All Water public facing customer contentment protocols. Those unfortunate past mistakes, which were mistakes at the time on our end, but that no one probably noticed, but meant we could theoretically have handled it better. Deserve to be made up to you. To prove our sincerity when it comes to taking responsibility for our past, accidental and good-natured mistakes, the person responsible has offered their own resignation, which we accepted only reluctantly and at their great insistence. We'd like to remind you that All Water continues to dedicate itself to your well-being and satisfaction 24-7. Or perhaps it would be simply better to say, always, no matter what the time technically is. We will do better in the future. That's a personal promise. Thank you all for your time. Until next time, we hope you enjoy All Water's efforts all of the time. Okay, eine Entschuldigung, in der well, nichts gesagt that, wurde. What? Isn't that a good thing? We've got them running scared. What? What did half of that even mean? That's some jive talk. It was so vague that it kind of covered everything. Uh, it's very clever. It preempted and deflects anything we might do. Checkmate. Oh, well, you know, gang, we gave it our best shot. We kept on fighting. Yeah, and it was real swell of Harold to help. Yeah, we dig that, hate you, man. <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I need to sort something out. Anything we can help with? We kind of owe you one. Oh, thanks, but no, it's okay. I've just got to reply to Bridget. We're having connection problems. Did you ask Rafi? Yeah, but they said they couldn't help. Well, you know, we often find all sorts of strange things coming through this garbage chute. Even things that people like Rafi might not want the world to see, if you get my meaning. Yeah, but that sounds a bit mean. Oh, it's nothing personal. But we did find an official document showing Rafi's involvement in the all-water clock swap directive. Yeah, it was like half shredded. Oh, yeah. And didn't the shredder come down the chute the day after? Just take it, Harold. Do with it what you will. We could give him the tape, too. I don't know if I want more sensitive materials. No, silly. It's a rock tape. The kind Rafi is always listening to. Maybe that'll convince him instead. Oh, okay, sure. Thanks, everyone. It's been fun. Keep up the good fight, Harold. Yeah. And we'll be watching. No, we won't be. <clears throat> Peace out. <lacht> Na, da ist ja eine Menge passiert. Äh, die die Troller hat einfach die Annie the Jack gemacht und eine, ein scheiß äh, Entschuldigungsvideo gemacht. Okay, was haben wir hier noch als Nachricht von Bridget? Harold, wie kommst du voran? Ja, wir wurden aufgehalten. Und bald genug Aufregung. Okay. Äh, ja, wir haben noch einiges zu tun, aber in diesem Part jetzt auch schon wieder ein bisschen überzogen. Von daher würde ich sagen, vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Wir sehen uns dann das nächste Mal wieder, wenn es wieder heißt, Harold Halibut, hier bei den chilligen Gamern. Vielen Dank fürs Zuschauen. Ciao, ciao.